Okay. Let's go to Barnealy's. Because this time it's slightly different. Happy Burger. So now we don't see the map here. There's a hole here. It's gone now. That's all the same, but this is new. If you really want to see Mary, you should just die. But you might be heading to a different place than Mary, James. Uh, this, uh, if you read this, it affects which ending you're gonna get. And at this point, the town is just... The town is just fed up with James. Like, how do you not get it, James? How do you don't know what you've done? How is it not getting into your head? angle to tell us hey pay attention to this spot or pe perhaps you're a fool the truth usually betrays people a part of that abyss is in the old society the key to the society is in the park at the foot of praying woman inside the ground, inside of a box. To open it, I need a wrench. My patient buried it there. I knew, but did nothing. It made me uneasy to have such a thing near. I wasn't looking for the truth, I was looking for tranquility. I also saw that thing. I fled. But the museum was sealed as well. Now no one dares to approach that place. If you still do not wish to stop, James, I pray to the Lord to have mercy on your eternal soul. Again. There are some items that got spawned during the nighttime here. This path should be closed. Can't open it. They even added unique camera here for this sequence.
So yeah, this door, let's check it again. The door that wakes in darkness opening into nightmares. So this one was closed during the daytime, but now we can go through it during the night. There she is, Jennifer Carroll, prosecuted by the Christians. The ground is raised up only here. Could there be something under? Will you dig? The small metal box is fastened by bolts, I can't open the lid. Use the wrench. Old bronze key. Antique looking bronze key, it was hidden behind one of those statues lined up in the park.
Here we're going into Silent Hill Historical Society. And above it is a boat launch. Like right next to it is a boat launch. Let's see, what do we have here? Nothing particular. There's a photo up there with some people. And here, look what we have. Pyramid head with all sorts of bodies in cages. As you can see, he wears a spear. And I think original plan was for him to use a spear after you see this photo. Which means that James's uh, subconscious could influence what Pyramid Head wears. However, uh, they couldn't have uh, Pyramid Head use the great knife in the hospital, in that long hallway where he chases Maria. So they had to change that and make him use Spear a little bit earlier. And another thing. James was in Silent Hill with his wife Mary on a vacation, maybe on honeymoon, however you call it. And I'm pretty sure they came here. They visited this place and they visited like this museum and they saw this photo. That's why like Pyramid Head is dressed like an executioner. As you can see, he has a spear for skewering. And I think that's why Pyramid Head is manifested as a punishment for James. Because James saw him before. And he even read about executioners in this town. I think this picture is real, it's not manifested by town to torture James. And if not, there's another one where there are similar executioners. Misty Day, Remains of the Judgment. It's him. There probably used to be a painting here. Only the explanation remains. Waterfront Landscape. Alan Smith. Date of birth and death unknown. A scene of this area from long ago. From the style, it looks like it was done sometime around 1820. There were a lot fewer people then, and only a handful of buildings. So there's this photo here. There's a photo of Deep Deep Hole. What could this be? We will see this one soon. There's a photo of some guy here, of the director of Old Brookhaven Hospital. It looks like it was a famous person in town. Brookhaven Hospital, 1880. This hospital was built in response to a great plague that followed a wave of immigration to this area. It was originally little more than a shack, but it gradually grew and grew. Nothing particularly interesting about this photo. Nothing useful here. And then there's... Let me see. Before I go in that hole. Oh, 
over here in this uh, broken glass is an obsidian goblet which you can only find in a new game plus ancient looking goblet carved from pure obsidian found it in the old museum a snake is carved onto its stem in the born from a wish scenario with maria we found uh, three planks, one of them had this symbol, one of them had this, and one of them had a crimson tome, which I'm missing. So we have these three items here, and the crimson tome that we saw with Maria is the last item I'm missing, which I'm gonna find later. It's the last item I'm missing for the rebirth ending, where James will try to get his wife back. Do you see this sound? Do you hear it? What does it remind you of? I can tell you what it reminds me of. I told you before. We are near boat launch. Like here is a boat launch. And this is like a boat horn. Boat siren. And now we are literally descending into into madness. Going deeper and deeper into madness. Into the abyss. hear horn more and more where are we now some kind of document is lying here september 11 1820 prisoner number c221 can't read the rest so now we are in a prison that existed in 1820 this is something that James also read about, heard about, when he was on vacation. But in his state of mind, he actually came here. Here we get some more photos. Let's see. Photo is hanging here. Toluca Prison Camp. Built during the Civil War. Later became Toluca Prison. Look at this one with a bunch of flying figures. Photo is hanging here. Death by skewering. An execution at the prison, death by skewering or strangling. To choose his death is prisoner's last taste of freedom. And you can think of this like when uh, James smothered his wife, she didn't have that last taste of freedom. She didn't have a choice how she wanted to go. You can look at it like that. Like, he took her last taste of freedom. He didn't give her that last choice, how she wants to pass on. You can look at it that way. And now this photo here 
There are two guys, two executioners, and one of them has like a pyramid-shaped red hat with a cross in white clothing. Now James may have seen this photo, or that other photo of Pyramid Head, and that's why there's a Pyramid Head chasing you through the whole game. Painting is hanging here. Crimson and white bank way. For the gods. Again. Crimson tome. White chrism. Maybe James saw this or the other photo. And this is what we saw on the photo. In the museum. The hole is dark and I can't see anything. But maybe I should jump? Just a wall. It would be impossible to climb this. Again, the same. Same. You might think you're stuck. Huh? This is different. Just this spot here feels different than the rest of the wall. I wonder if I could somehow break it. Looks like it's broken. Now look at this. How does it look like? Looks like we're on a trap door, right? But if you pay closer attention, the wall in front of James is actually ceiling. And this wall right here is the floor. The whole room is turned sideways there's a door at the bottom the door is locked and here we have a key for the door spiral writing key but now i press the switch but nothing happens the battery on her flashlight dies too dark to read the map. It's locked. You can't see anything. And you might feel you're stuck. But... In the hospital, you got a battery. And there's no way to miss this battery, because you have to pick battery first, and then to pick up a key item. Like, there's no way to miss it. You can't finish the hospital without picking the battery. It looks like it's the same type of battery that the flashlight uses. And if you use it, you see that you're swarmed with bugs. And here we have a keypad with only two numbers that are lit. 
This is random. You can get two numbers lit, three, and now we have to figure out a combination. One, one, six. Nope. One, six, one. Nope. Six, one, one. Nope. Six, one, six. There we go. It says, "'Tis doubt which leadeth thee to purgatory." And now? It's pitch black beyond the door. I can't tell how far the blackness stretches. Will you jump? Absolutely. Let's descend more into madness. Killing a person ain't no big deal. Just put the gun to their head, pow. You, you killed him? But, but, but it wasn't my fault. He, he made me do it. Calm down, Eddie. Tell me what happened. That guy, he, he had it coming. I didn't do anything. He just came after me. Besides, he was making fun of me with his eyes, like that other one. Just for that, you killed him? What do you mean, just for that? Eddie, you can't just kill someone because of the way they looked at you. Oh yeah? Why not? Till now, I always let people walk all over me. Just like that stupid dog. He had it coming too. Eddie. <laughs> I was just joking, James. He was dead when I got here, honest. Anyway, I gotta run. You're going out there alone? Yeah. Eddie! One thing you might notice about Eddie is that his eyes move really fast, left and right. Let's see this guy. Now this guy here, he doesn't have James's model. He has different hair, jacket, pants. Not like other corpses we saw. It's a corpse, the body is marked with bullet holes. From Eddie. And here we get Tablet of Gluttonous Pig. Now, if you take a look at this photo, you can see that this photo is pretty much this room. And it even has that body there. However, the body on the photo doesn't look like that body over there. It looks more like James. The jacket is green. The pants are like James's pants. Which is really interesting. So in this room, we got 
Tablet of Gluttonous Pig, metal tablet with Gluttonous Pig drawn on the one side. Found it in the dining room. Pig with uh, two sticks of meat. Which kinda resembles... Eddie. There are documents on the desk. They got nothing to do with me though. Got the map of prison. Documents, nothing to do with me. Broken. Here we are in the booth where people used to visit prisoners, right? But look how the camera is placed. And look the side where we are at in the prison. We are on the prisoner side. It's like James is a prisoner, which he might be, maybe he should be a prisoner because of what he's done, right? Even the camera shows that. It's locked. Seductress. Metal tablet with seductress drawn on the side, found in the shower room. So we found Eddie, and then we found we find Angela. She was gaslit by her mom. That it was all her fault. <laughs>
Now here, we have an interesting enemy. As you can see, James is look at, looking at something. He sees it. You can even aim at it. But, he's not affected by radio. You don't hear the static on the radio. And from time to time, he says ritual. Did you hear that? And you can also kill him. Did you hear that? He has a human-like sound when you shoot him. Wax doll. Books are scattered all over the bed and floor. Black magic from the abyss, resurrection of the dead, the chronicle of Agrippa, manuscript of the iron rings. I guess I shouldn't worry about these too much. Let's see, on sacrifice and the art of demon summoning, tome of the seer, the feast of the succubi, fallen angel of mercy and favor. So... Clearly, this cell belonged to a cultist, a cult member. On the walls, we can see some versions of Halo of the Sun, which is an important thing in Silent Hill 3 and 4. But this one looks like this prison is in 19... is in 1820s, right? It's a very old prison. So, this could be some older version of the Halo of the Sun. And then it evolved into what we see in Silent Hill 3 and 4. James doesn't have any comment on it. But yeah, like the one in the Silent Hill 3 and 4 has three inner small circles. This one has four, and an X between them. That one just has some writings inside. And if I remember correctly in Silent Hill 3, there's even like a book explaining how symbols evolved and people's beliefs evolve and change, which is also true in real life. shells blood-stained clothes here broken This prison cell belonged to some artist. 436 people at a recital. Burning Man. 
Now this is important. This is a hotel where James and his wife spent their time, where they stayed. And at some point the hotel burnt down. It's really important, like that little detail about hotel burning is important, and we'll see that later. There's also woman in flight, and that's about it. There's another ritual guy. However, this one is affected by radio. The radio does show static for this guy. And here we find tablet of the oppressor. Metal tablet with the oppressor drawn on the one side. Found it in the cell. As a, and as you can see, it's like a male figure oppressing the female one. Magazines, nothing of interest. And one very cool detail also. I, I need to mention it just in case, but this one explains James. This one is James. So we have Eddie, Angela, and James. We this is something that James did. And now, one very cool thing about this. The iron bar do door is tightly closed. I can't force it open. So what do you do? You can't leave. Nope. You have to click multiple times. Basically, you have to oppress the door. You have to force it to open. Unlocked. Now I have to go this way. And now... You can hear horses galloping here. This is just one big room. I give you blood to atone for the three sins is written on the top of the engravings. Beneath the engravings are three square depressions. And we see one man on the noose and two pyramid heads. And three nooses above. Who are those for? For our three characters. Angela, James, and Eddie. All of them have some guilt on their conscience. Use the tablet of the oppressor. Pig, seductress. And when you go back, you get the horseshoe.
We also need this lighter. Another toilet. I knock on the door, but there's no answer. machine ambience cookie there's a magazine here i never seen it before it's probably a locally published magazine toluca lake the town's main tourist attraction this clear beautiful lake has another side as well it may seem like just a typical ghost story that you might find in any number of old towns across the country but in this case, the legend is true. On a fog-bound November day in 1918, the little baroness, a ship filled with tourists, failed to return to port. A newspaper article back then simply says it most likely sank for some reason. Despite an extensive police research, not a single fragment of the ship nor any of the 14 bodies of passengers or crew has ever been recovered to this day. In 1939, an even stranger incident occurred. There are many pages torn out. Many corpses rest at the bottom of this lake. Their bony hands reach up towards the boats that pass overhead. Perhaps they reach for their comrades. There's a cover on the ground, but I can't open it. There's only a depression left where there is, was probably once a handle. So what do we do here? We take the wax, we melt it, then we put the horseshoe in it, wait for it to cool, to become solid, and then we... Open the hatch, and let's jump into more madness. There's something in the hole. It looks like it's all dismembered. I can't look anymore. A horrible smell is coming from the hole. 
Did that just move? Or was it only my imagination? The corpse smells nausea and tingly of rotten flesh. My god, in the hole. I didn't see that. If this was Resident Evil, monsters would probably come out of the holes, but not in this game. It's just meant to be disturbing. And to show you what they did with uh, prisoners. That all the prisoners were just thrown in this hole. The corpse into this hole? And again, think of it from James's perspective. He feels like he needs to be punished for what he did. That's why he spawned Pyramid Head. Maybe this prison is also part of his subconscious, that he was... He should have gone to prison for what he did. And maybe this was meant to be the end of him to just become a corpse thrown in the hole. There's a hole in the floor. I can't see the bottom. How far does this thing go? Another one. Another hole. Do I really have to drop through it? He's suicidal, right? Yeah. That's why he came to Silent Hill. broken. You don't have a map for this place, but you do... You do have it hand-drawn. Listen to that music. Now 
here we have a very interesting room with beds, cages, bodies in cages. Kind of similar to the photo we saw in the museum, right? And what do we have here? Great knife. We have Pyramid's head. Great knife. Massive weapon wielded by Pyramid head. Hard to use, but lethal. One cool detail about this knife... Look at the table. What do you see? You see many scissors, right? And pliers that look like scissors. Right? Take a look at the knife. On the knife, Near the handle, you can see a hole, which means that this blade was part of scissors. And I think one of the developers said it, this is not the knife that Pyramid Head wields. This is another part of that knife, which basically says that James and Pyramid Head are the two sides of the same coin. Because James specifically created Pyramid Head to be punished. And I wouldn't be surprised that the face below Pyramid Head, below the pyramid, is uh, James's face. And now this puzzle. So whenever you turn the head... Oh! Oh! It opened in one turn! Amazing! <laughs> so basically, you have to turn that head left, right, up, down until you find these two pathways here. These two openings. And this one happened in one. Amazing. In one turn. You're alive! Maria, I thought that thing killed you! Are you hurt bad? Not at all, silly. Maria? That thing! It stabbed you! There was blood everywhere! Stabbed me? What do you mean? It checked the elevator, and, James, and then... James? What are you talking about? Just before! Don't you remember? James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. 
I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? I'm not your Mary. So, you're Maria? I am. If you want me to be. All I want from you is an answer. It doesn't matter who I am. I'm here for you, James. See? I'm real. Don't you want to touch me? I... don't know. Come and get me. I can't do anything through these bars. Okay. Stay right there. I'll be there soon. First of all, I love how she shifts between Mary and Maria. And then later how James becomes obsessed with her. I... I don't know. <laughs> I'm coming right away. <laughs> That's so cool. So cool. And I'm pretty sure she can do some stuff through the bars, okay? I'm pretty sure, but hey, it is what it is. Another cool scene. But uh, look, she like has a door there. So, a bed, a nice looking chair. Her room kinda looks like a hospital. So... Like... Who's in the jail here? Is it James or Maria? You know? Now going back... We get to find this. Wire cutter.
now here we get an interesting uh, paper to read. Let's check it out. It's stained with something that looks like blood and it's partially illegible. The body of a man later identified as Thomas Orozco, lumberjack, age 39, was discovered in the middle of his room, lying face up. So Thomas Orozco is Angela's dad. She is Angela Orozco. The probable cause of death was multiple stab wounds to the front of the neck and the left side of torso by a sharp-edged weapon. The estimated time of death was somewhere between 11 p.m. and 12.30 midnight. And, uh, and the weapon that she used is probably the knife that she gave us in the apartments. Because when you inspect it, you see that it has blood on it. That's probably the murder weapon. Due to signs of struggle in the room and the lack of murder weapon, police are considering this, this a homicide and have opened a murder investigation. Furthermore, given the fact that the cash in the room was untouched and Mr. Orozco had a history of drunkenness and violence, the police suspect that the motive was not robbery, but some sort of crime of passion. Why do we read this here? I hear you ask. Daddy, Angela, relax. Don't order me around! I'm not trying to order you. So what do you want then? Oh, I see. You're trying to be nice to me, right? I know what you're up to. It's always the same. You're only after one thing. No, that's not true at all. You don't have to lie. Go ahead and say it. Or you could just force me. Beat me up like he always did. You only care about yourself anyway. You disgusting pig. Oh. 
<laughs> Angela. Don't touch me! You make me sick! You said your wife Mary was dead, right? Yes. She was ill. Liar! I know about you. You didn't want her around anymore. You probably found someone else. <sighs> That's ridiculous. I never... When he says here, I would never, this is probably the spot where his obsession with Maria breaks. Because in that scene, he was like, I, I don't know, I'll be right there. But now he's like, no, I would never. Let's talk about this for a little while, shall we? So, Angela was sexually abused by her dad and her bro. And this, uh... This monster here is called Abstract Daddy. And when you look at it, it has two figures. You can see two heads. It's like a bed. You can see the frame, which is meant to be a bed. And there's a bigger figure in it on top on a, of a smaller figure. And the smaller figure is like yelling, trying to escape, asking for help. Now, this monster here, this is how James interprets Angela's dad. This is not how Angela sees the monster. She sees this monster like her dad, like her normal dad. Just like the way James sees Maria. Like, who knows how would Angela see Maria if they were in the same room? Who knows? But this is how James interprets the monster. And this whole room was meant to... to show what Angela went through. Like... this all huge fleshy room. You can see a bit of... Uh, what, what's that? Like a dry blood on the sides. You can see pistons on the wall. Which represent... Uh, for an object, like piercing into the flesh that doesn't belong there. Even when you walk, you hear that squishy noise from all the flesh. But yeah, when you enter the room, Angela is like, no, daddy, no. She sees, she sees it as, as her daddy, as her father. Let's see, here we have six bodies. His face is covered with a piece of paper. There's something written on it. This man was hanged for the crime of swindling. Justice and revenge have been served. So we have Swindler. Was hanged for the crime of embezzlement. Justice and revenge have been served. Hanged for the crime of murder. Kidnapping. Counterfeiting. Bodily injury. Okay.
Here we have six nooses. Let's read this. I do not wish to die, but tomorrow I will climb the 13 steps. Please, someone answer me. Why must I die come the morning? The man imprisoned beside me believed me. Because they're all insane, that's why, he said. Of course, I know his opinion will change nothing. How you know why I stuck? Struck out at them, he muttered. The man who was executed yesterday, the one who had said his job was to sell dreams, said that was not true. But the man who is, who is to be executed the day after tomorrow for stealing children, so we have a kidnapper, shouted back, that it was true. The man who was hanged today did not answer. They'll kill me either way, he said. He was caught embezzling public money. So he hasn't any hope for mercy. The man who is always quietly smiling to himself said, I'm happy for I will soon be with her. I do not wish to die. I long only to return home. But I know it is not to be. Though I have done nothing, this crime has been thrust upon me. Someone save me. This is not judgment. They're all bloodthirsty and I'm, I'm their sacrificial lamb. Only the sinless one can help you here. Mistaken, mistakenly pull on a criminal's rope and your reward will be returned to you in a shape most Wondrously strange. So we need to find who was not guilty here. Thirteen steps. So we have one guy who was selling dreams. We have one guy who was stealing, one guy who was embezzling, one guy who probably killed someone, so let's see. Who is not guilty? Crime of swindling. Embezzling. Murder. Kidnapping. Counterfeiting. Bodily injury. So here, the innocent guy is the counterfeiter. He's the one that wasn't mentioned on that plate. He was never mentioned and he was placed on this location. There's a rope hanging from the ceiling. Will you pull it? And this scene and the camera angle, it's like showing that uh, James is pulling that noose for himself. Really cool, actually. How do you know you did good? If you do it wrong, this room will have, uh, will have some enemies for you to kill. And it's those weak first enemies that you encounter that spew acid. If you do it wrong, this body is gone and you get the key of the persecuted. The paper that was covering the corpse face is lying here. So now with the key...
I can't turn the handle unless I remove the handcuffs. He left by the prisoner who was wrongly executed. There's nothing more that I can do here. I don't want to, but I'll have to just leave her here like this. graveyard like the graveyard is inside the room kind of like the graveyard you could think of like graveyard in prison so let's see what do we have here there's a name inscribed on the tombstone Eddie Dombrowski Angela And the last one, James Sunderland. And James's hole is open. Let's see, what else do we have here? This felon drank one last bottle of ale before he was executed and laid here for his eternal rest. So these are all people who got punished. Executed. Name? Miriam K. Traitor. It's not sure who this Miriam K. is. On the internet I found that there was like one Miriam K. Who was like... Hawaiian princess? that was meant to marry someone from Japan, but she didn't. And for that, she was like a traitor, but... I, I really don't know who that is. Name? Walter Sullivan. We read about him. So yeah, there he is. Will you go down? Will you jump in your own tomb? And now 
what? As we slowly go, we can see this fog more and more. But in this case, it's like a freezing air. What are you doing? What does it look like? He always busted my balls. You fat, disgusting piece of shit. You make me sick. Fat ass, you're nothing but a waste of skin. You're so ugly, even your mama don't love you. Well, maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb, ugly, pretty. It's all the same once you're dead. And the corpse can't laugh. From now on, if anyone makes fun of me, I'll kill him. Just like that. Have you gone nuts? I knew it. You too. You're just like him, James. Hey, I didn't mean anything. Don't bother. I understand. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James. Again, all the bodies here have James's uh, texture. Do you know what it does to you, James? When you're hated, picked on, spit on, just because of the way you look? After you've been laughed at your whole friggin' life. That's why I ran away after I killed the dog. Ran away like a scared little girl. Yeah, I killed that dog. It was fun. It tried to chew its own guts up. Finally died all curled up in a ball. Then he came after me. I shot him too, right in the leg. He cried more than the dog! <laughs> He's gonna have a hard time playing football on what's left of that knee. You think it's okay to kill people? You need help, Eddie. Don't get all holy on me, James! This town called you too! You and me are the same. We're not like other people. Don't you know that? Let's party! Now here... Look at these meat slabs. They kinda look like Eddie. Like the shape of them. The cloth down below looks like his uh, pants and he even has a move where he hides behind the meat slabs he hides from you he kind of tries to blend in behind them Hey! <laughs> 
Eddie? Eddie? I... I killed a... a human being. A human being. Mary. Did you really die three years ago? <laughs> His delusion is starting to break. The way he says, a human being. And then Mary, did you really die? Or did I kill you? So, after this, Something cool happens. If you take a look at your inventory. Do you see this is a letter from Mary? This is what we read from the start. But now when you examine it, there's nothing written on the stationery. Nothing. Before it had text. But now as the illusion breaks, there's nothing. Warning, keep off. And when you take a look at the map, we are at the boat launch. So we went through all of that insanity. We went so deep in the historical society, in the prison. But now we're just at the boat launch. Close to where we entered. It's like all of that was just in his head. And here we can see warning. Persons procuring or concealing escape of prisoners are subject to persecution. So there was a prison here before. But that was like long, long ago.